family of a woman killed in a hit and run crash in southeast Portland say they are, of course, devastated. Charlene Hout died after another driver hit the Jeep that she was riding in, and her sister is fighting for her life in the hospital. Our Emily Burris joins us live where that hit and run happened in southeast Portland yesterday, and it's really surreal for this family, Emily. Yeah, this family has a lot to process here this afternoon. This crash scene took over this entire intersection uh, yesterday. You can see across the street behind me here. Some family was out here this afternoon. Uh, they created a small memorial here for Charlene. How uh, there's still pieces of crash debris in the street. I can hear other cars driving over it this afternoon, but I spoke with her son Brian today. He told me a lot about Charlene, said that he really what she really was the rock for this family. His mom had just recently come back to Portland to be with her sister, Robin, as she battled in stage lung cancer. Robin was driving the two of them yesterday when a black BMW SUV crashed into them nearly head on, killing Charlene and sending Robin to the hospital. She was a selfless giver of, of love for, for her family and for um, for anyone really that was in need of help. I mean, I think about my grand, my grandkids, her great grandkids that mm -hmm. are going to have to, you know, be cut short of not getting to know what a great person she was. And he says that her mom, her kids, her grandkids, her great grandkids, they are all now left dealing with a huge hole in their family. All of this while hoping that Robin survives. Ryan tells me she remains in critical condition at OHSU today. Uh, meanwhile, we do know the suspect who was arrested was in jail tonight. Uh, investigators now telling us they believe that uh, he ran a uh, ran away from a previous crash just up the road, ran a red light here. That's when that head-on collision happened. He is set to appear in court tomorrow. Jennifer. Emily, I'll take you from here. And we found out that uh, Montgomery has quite the long criminal history, previously connected to a string of armed robberies. He was dubbed the tracksuit bandit. You can read much more about that on coin.com right now.